Capricorn, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Now, this is for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart. You can take these energies and plug them into that aspect of your life. Now, will they contradict other aspects of your life? Yes, they will. That's because we are a walking, talking bunch of bag of contradictions every single day of our life. But that's that's what we are and that's what that's what we have to battle with and, and try to balance right but you can take these energies and apply them to what wherever Capricorn may influence your chart so Capricorn this is a weekly predictions week ahead Oracle card reading now if you're interested in the full tarot card reading that link is below it also includes a romance specific reading as well this once again is for seven days from now seven days in advance the next the week ahead essentially so Capricorn let's see what energy is crowning your reading lots of cards coming out lots of cards coming out Crowning your reading, lots of cards coming out. Ooh, somebody has been faking you. Somebody has been faking, 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 faking and manipulating to try to drag you into some sheet, sheet music, sheet music, sheet, damn. Crowning your energy, time to let go, make your dreams real, life is a mystery. Somebody was faking and baking you and breaking your heart. This is a sense of you didn't really, you thought you knew what was going on, but you didn't really know full well what was going on. This is a sense of really feeling betrayed. I don't know what is up with these cards, but if you watch, if you watch Scorpio, if you watch Sagittarius, this is the same theme coming out. There's a lot of truths coming around and being revealed because Somebody was not being truthful. These are lies, girl. These are lies. These are lies. This is a sense of somebody manipulating you, sort of trying to tangle you up with a tangled web we weave. And it's almost like you're stuck in it. It's like it's stuck somehow. It's like wrapped you up, wrapped your heart. It's gnawing, gnawing, gnawing at your heart. You don't understand why this person was the way that they were. You don't understand why this may not be a person, could be a situation or a circumstance why are they the way that they are they they put on this false face to me they didn't they were not sincere with me why couldn't they just be honest with me there's something going on i'm telling you right now there's still a little bit more to this story a little bit more to this mystery but what i don't want you to do and what i feel like you are gonna have an inclination to do is stick with it or stay with it or stay tangled up by it because you're making excuses for the search the circumstance you're making excuses for the person you think oh well i i don't understand everything i, I need to understand i need to understand you, all you need to understand, Capricorn, is that this, this, this situation was intentionally deceptive. It was not what it appeared to be. And what it appeared to be is what you trusted. But what it really is, which has shown some cracks and like a lot of truth is coming out, right? That's, you're not down with that. So how about this? Step away from the fire don't try to pretend like the fire is cool just because it's burning blue remember blue flames are the hottest do not try to think or make excuses for this circumstance in front of you because these cracks are spewing out lava and lava freaking burns so you have got to step away from the cracks step away from the falsehood this is somebody trying to ensnare you or doing a good job ensnaring you somehow some way putting on a mask wheeling you in like doo -doo 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 -doo, you don't know like hypnotizing you playing with your brain gnawing at your heart and this is just the reality of that hitting you hard i think there was a discovery or or you haven't fully discovered it yet and you could just feel it there's a sense of why isn't this working out why isn't this right i'll tell you why it's not right because there's a you know what -er who is not being sincere they're wearing a mask they're playing a false game now why that's a good question we're gonna find that out let's move on to the other cards if you guys are on platforms that allow for a commercial i'm gonna slip one in right here i appreciate your patience i'll be right back in 30 seconds 
Thank you so much for having patience, Capricorn. Those commercial breaks actually help to support the channel. So I just want to say thank you. Let's get on to the rest of uh, the reading. This and that are true. Mm, stuck in limbo. This is you not knowing. This is a, 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 a heart that's sincere and playful and true, not understanding, not knowing. Just sort of jumping around in the shallows, trying to figure things out. You know, this is finding a compromise. It could also be the energy of finding a compromise, um, of, of working something out, of finally talking something and, and, and finding a, a balance between two extremes. My dog is so cute. She's over in the corner. Hold on. I just want to show you guys. Do you see her? She sits there and she stares at me as if I'm talking to her. And I think she thinks that I'm mad at her. I think it makes her feel bad. So I'm really... I love you. Yes. She doesn't understand it. It's so cute though. This and that are true. It's this sense of... It's, okay. This could be a card of diplomacy. Mm -hmm. It could be. It could be a card of listening to another side and hearing it fairly with an open mind. Okay, so maybe truth is coming out, things are being revealed, and you're deciding to be very objective and calm about the whole circumstance and try to understand things from somebody else's perspective instead of letting loose on them, which could also be a temptation that I would not blame you for. Uh, transformation is beautiful. There is a sense that something is, through compromise, transforming. So this could very well be a situation that wasn't working out or that was bothering you, like something that wasn't working had to break and explode in order to heal. Okay, okay, okay. We can deal with that. Like I think that you and I, we're better there. Mm -hmm. A rebirth is assured. This is a sense of something that you thought was completely in total. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So, oh. There, uh, just, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm going to, I don't know as a reader. I don't know if I trust this energy yet. I will let you know if it, if it, if I can work that out, if I can figure out a way to make this energy feel better for me, because it does seem like there, there was some, so, there was something that you didn't understand that was bugging you sort of weaving you, tangling you, getting lost in your thoughts, bugging you, something that was really bothering you, right? And, and really hurting you. It could very well be just something that you couldn't digest, something that, that didn't set right with you. Let's put it that way. Let's do that. Taking from the crowning energy, right? And now we have this sense of compromise, of trying to figure out both sides. But remember Capricorn, in order to make a real true compromise, you have to know the truth of the other situation. You can't just have what they're feeding you or telling you is real. You have to know the whole truth. And I think that that's the issue is this week you're trying to figure out the truth because something is not setting right with you. It doesn't make any sense to you. Transformation is beautiful though right? There's finding a way to take this information and digest it. There's finding a way to make it incorporate it into your life, even if it doesn't set right with you. But I know you and you're not going to do it. You're not going to let something that doesn't set right for you go. And I feel like there is a sense of finally getting that chance to confront the issues, the real issues. And there's a sense of somehow being able to resolve some issues because when, when I get transformation is beautiful and a rebirth is assured, there's this, there's this mentality of somebody just came back into their right mind. Somebody who had lost their damn mind just came back into their right mind. And now they're coming back and explaining everything to you. So it sort of makes sense. They... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> they or this circumstance <coughs> is coming <coughs> is coming back around so that you can actually. Oh, I apologize. Oh, hold on a second, Capricorn. I know people are gonna scream and yell at me, but I have to. I still have my arthritis. I just can't get over it, so I apologize. I just have to keep keep the throat wet. A rebirth is assured. 
this could be two different things. And I don't want to get any hopes up. Right, so that's why I'm saying it's two different things, Capricorn. One, it could be you realize what a lie this whole circumstance was. That the people would never really, since the people concerned or the person concerned was never really, really sincere to you. And you're now just digesting that and accepting that and basically moving past it this week. Or there is a sense that somebody is going to come back and explain something to you. And so that you are going to kind of listen with an objective mindset to try to understand there's going to be some sort of reconciliation here. People coming back around and maybe not just apologizing, but making things up to you. I don't know that that's assured, but there is a sense of finally being able to let something go so that you can become something that is <clears throat> new, a better version of yourself, new and improved. Dream the world into being. This card is about burying the past. You see the skeleton in the back. It's about burying the past and looking on in the future. It's realizing that the past is dead. My Italian is coming out today. I can't help it. But it's about knowing that the past is over. It's dead. Not looking that direction anymore. And I think part of this transcendence had to do with accepting that you, maybe accepting that you never really knew the whole truth. That what you had gotten attached to or gotten your hopes up was always based on a half-truth, not knowing what was really going on. And that's why it has to be gone. It has to be over. It has to be finished. you got to lay this to rest if you're going to look to the future and have new opportunities. And there are new opportunities coming in because look it, look it. He, the little lizard, is a playful, fun energy. It's also regenerative energy. Lizard is very powerful magic because it's regenerative. Lizards, they shed their skin. They can, if they're in danger, they can shut off a freaking leg and then grow it back. Lizards are regenerative energy. So this is at the very least, Capricorn, a message to you that says you're going to bounce back from this. You're going to bounce back from this as if by magic, you're going to bounce back from this. You're going to be okay. The magic is in you. You have the strength. You have the power. Like Scarlett O'Hara, tomorrow is another day. You know, that, that's kind of how it is. And you're looking into the future now. You're not, you're not looking into the past anymore. Why? Because the past is a bunch of you-know-what. It's a bunch of bulldunky that is not serving your purpose anymore. And you're realizing it. The farther and farther you get away from the situation, the more and more you're realizing there was a bunch of stuff going on here that was manipulative and not straightforward. And the more and more you're realizing that somewhere, somehow, you always knew it because it was always something gnawing at you. You felt it. And now that it's over with or that it's sort of the betrayal has happened, there's a sense of being able to accept it. There's a sense of acceptance this week. Uh, maybe you do get some information. And I hope, I want to promise this to you guys. Oh, sorry. Because you're going to be sitting there waiting like, oh, Michelle says, where's this information that I was supposed to be getting? You might not be getting information. But there is a sense that you might. There might be something revealed to you or somebody coming back to you, trying to talk to you, tell you something. All right, all right, listen. Go ahead and listen to them. But only listen from the perspective of how is this working for me? Is this something that I can take into the future? Because I'm not going back there. I'm not going back. That's over with. I'm not going back to that. There's a sense of regeneration here, though. I, I, I can't. I can't. There's a lizard sitting right next to a rebirth is assured. And then transformation is beautiful. So something that seemed dead is not dead. I'm just letting you know that. I don't know if that's good news or bad news. Because it could very well be from the crowning energy, something that just hasn't, you haven't been able to let go of. Use your mind wisely. Mm. Be very, very careful. 
when pigs fly, you may have thought that this would never, ever, it's almost like it seems too good to be true. And Capricorn, when it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So please, 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 as good as this seems, as good as this feels, as good as this news may seem, please just be very careful because this is something I feel like you're going to get sucked back in when you don't know the whole story, once again, somebody is still, this is a some, this is a somebody or a something that really doesn't even know itself. And they're, they're tantalizing you. They're tempting you. They're dragging you back in. Walking in a spider web, baby. Why, why do spiders make webs so they can catch things to eat? Just let you know. Crown, a crow spirit, co-create with spirit. You need to listen very carefully this week to your intuition, Capricorn. It is going to scream at you. Please don't ignore it. It has a, a quiet voice, that light in the dark, that feeling of it's not going to be loud. It's not, but it's going to be there. And it may not be saying what you want to hear. Seven plus one equals eight. What else is eight? Life is a mystery. There are messages that are going to be coming into you. These are both eight cards. Infinity. This is a shamanic card too, but this is also a mask. This is a mask that a shaman would wear so it could go into a spiritual world, another world, right? But along the lines, uh, along with time to let go and make your dreams real, it's almost like your dreams are changing. Who you are is changing. So this is co-create with spirit. Also the energy of eight. Infinity. Destiny. Something that was meant to be. So as hard as this transformative period might be for you, there is a sense that this is always what was supposed to happen. Um, proceed with faith and please listen to your intuition. Because I feel like there's something, there's an energy that's trying to come back into your life. Has it really changed? Is it really different? You gotta, you gotta be kind of weary about something that seems to magically have just reappeared in your life. It's like it's too good to be true. So please watch out. That's what Crow is here to tell you. Watch out. It's a warning. When you hear a crow and a crow shows up, it's a warning. Heed that warning. Listen to it, please. It's not necessarily the loudest warning, but it's not subtle. It, it will be there. You'll hear it. It's just, will you listen to it? I need a grounding energy for this reading. Grounding energy for the Capricorn reading. Ooh. There may be something like voodoo you're trying to resurrect from the dead because you haven't been able to let go of it yet. Let me tell you right now, all you're going to get is a Frankenstein. If it seems too good to be true, it's because it is. All the grounding energy is upside down, which means that this is not stable. And you like stability, Capricorn. But whatever this energy is, it is not stable energy. Believe in yourself. This is about not believing in yourself and having low self-esteem and not having high self-worth. Turn knowledge into wisdom. This is about betraying what really matters to you. Your core, your you. And overcome any obstacle. This is about being stuck. This is about, when all of this is in reverse, it's about being stuck. These are earth energies in reverse. That's about the ground shaking. You know, if somebody makes you shake, if an opportunity makes you shake, makes you feel nervous inside, that's not a good thing. Things that are right for you make you feel safe. They make you feel secure. This now, something has come to sort of turn that upside down and make you feel insecure. Yeah, 
This could be an old issue coming back from the past. This could be a new circumstance bringing up old issues that you have to work through. Because once again, if it seems like it's too good to be true, it really is too good to be true. And you have to watch out for it. This is an upheaval. This is, this is feeling like something that you had relied on or depended on is now you can't trust it anymore. Standing on shaky ground. And that's, that's what I'm saying. It's the perfect time for something too good to be true to come into your life because you're already vulnerable. So watch out for it. Be very, very discerning. Don't just invite it into your life because there is this deceptive quality of, I better look at this again because this, this is a little bit, this isn't nothing necessarily something that's going to save me. It feels like it's too good to be true. All right, I'm going to quickly turn the camera around. Hold on. See this? All this earth energy coming upside down. And this may be you also just deciding to, you know, throw caution to the wind and be somebody that's a little bit different from the person that you normally are. Try to be somebody new. But the truth of the matter is that feeling isn't going to last very long. This is a sense of trying to make yourself feel better in the moment. That whatever is coming back from the past, it's still not something that you can trust. I'm feeling that your life is in upheaval because of it. That there's going to be some sort of energy and offer that was made this week that really is going to be too good to be true. You never thought it would happen. And there's, it's, but it's a message from spirit that is just like warning, warning, warning. This is not necessarily something you can trust. Now, I wish to God it was something that you could trust, Capricorn, but it is not something that you could trust because all of these solid foundation cards are flipped upside down, including integrity, integrity and self-esteem. This is a sense of being stuck, and that might get you to act a little bit more desperate than you normally would. I don't mean to be insulting to you. This could be your energy or an energy that's surrounding you, but there's definitely something going on here with with, with you really wanting so badly to get unstuck that you believe something that isn't completely real. That's the big old warning here. Now, what is it exactly? How do we get through it? I'm going to continue this reading. The link is below. We're going to do a full tarot card spread. And if you're curious, I'll also do a love reading as well. I'll see you guys over there.